Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It is Monday, August 5th and we are looking at a futures that is down about 36 points. As you can see, the market sentiment has shifted. Uh, two things happened uh, last week. One was the uh, rate cut which I suspected would be a sell the news event and it turned out exactly like that. And then added uh, to that, you have uh, you know various technical pressures as well. As I said, this was a rising wedge, and so uh, the market was just unable to move the slope of this line higher. Whereas on the lows, the uh, the slope was really steep. So this was we were looking at a three-month daily chart. Now what I have is a one-year daily chart, and let's look at a slightly longer perspective. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take off this wedge because, as you can see, the, you know this wedge has clearly uh, you know proven to be a bearish sign, and uh, it's broken through that wedge uh, significantly. And so the usefulness of this drawing is over. And what I want to do is just clear uh, drawing set completely and uh, let's start fresh with a one year chart because this will give us a slightly more longer term perspective uh, and uh, we can take a look at it properly. So once again, if we take a look at uh, this one right here, this was the low point and if we try to draw a trend line uh, through this uh, other low, you can see that even this trend line has been broken. So this one is not quite accurate. I'll need to bring it down a little bit. So let me just uh, uh, clear up the drawing here. And it needs to go through the bottom of the other one as well. And so you can see that we are just about breaking it right now on uh, today's price action on the futures. And if you also draw a top trend line, now that we have one year charts, you can see, I don't know if it will be a perfect, uh, perfect uh, uh, top wedge here but it comes pretty close so you can see once again even from a longer time frame this was a rising wedge where the lows uh, had a much you know had a much more steeper line so now once this gets uh, broken then the next support level is at 2726 so we are already past this support level we are breaking it today and so this is looking pretty bearish and uh, various developments around the world uh, are not helping. Uh, so Japan and South Korea are engaged in a major uh, trade war. Uh, the stuff in Hong Kong is not helpful. And then uh, all the other tensions going on with Iran and all of that and with the Brexit also. Uh, so lots of negative uh, stuff going on and you can see the markets just don't like any of it. So uh, I wanted to create this video uh, and uh, uh, this is something we need to watch for. And so even in our swing trades, what we'll be doing is now clearly positioning uh, to a much more neutral to bearish kind of a stance. Uh, we are already, uh, you know, almost there, but uh, we just need to do a couple of uh, adjustments to uh, make this shift into, into a more bearish stance. So that I'll create a separate video for that. Thank you.